Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Ian here in Beijing with a very, very brief, quick update. Things are still very much the same as what they have been. The weather has been pretty dull, um, and that is over there. Hot. Chaoyang district where some more of the hotspot areas have been popping up. However, things are still okay to a certain extent. I'm able to go and buy some sh some shopping. I went to the bakery, which I thought might have been closed, but actually it was open to do the most fantastic garlic bread. So I'm really surprised it's actually open here. Uh, this is an amazing bakery and they they do real cool pastries and stuff and the most amazing garlic bread. I love it. So that was an interesting little journey um, and surprise and delight because it was open. I also stopped in and got a, a little bottle of, a bottle of cheeky bottle of wine and um, Right now, I'm going to have a quick walk around the local area. It is a little bit, it feels a little bit sad because it's usually bustling with people. But at the moment, people are very, very hesitant to go out and walk around. And certainly in this area where there's, there's kind of hot spots popping up all of the time. Um, but I am going to kind of walk around because I know what areas to walk around and not go near. What is quite interesting is the innovation that some people show um, where the restaurants are still serving. You do get to the entrance and then you place your order either there or on your way to the restaurant and you can pick up your food. So the Duck Restaurant, which is around the corner, which is a fantastic restaurant, which I shared before in a video up there somewhere. Um, it's a fantastic restaurant. They, they're actually selling their lunches at the door of the menu. And also the local KFC. Again, you turn up at the door, um, you place your order, they give you your food there and then, or they, they, they cook it and then obviously bring it back to you. So it is very, very strange. bit sad that everything's in this slow period but hopefully as things develop we can um, maybe get back to some some normality with all going well but yeah let's wait and see so this is one of the local hutong areas and people are still walking about as normal um, however things are a lot quieter than usual so you can definitely see the difference this area here as I would walk towards this Hutong area which is local to where I I, I, I live um, and you would see quite a lot of people sitting in the streets they would be playing um, uh, mahjong or uh, sitting, chatting, sitting in small groups, chatting away, talking away um, and also children running around and so on but it looks like there's quite a few people staying indoors which is you know understandable at this moment in time where things are a little bit more uh, concerning. This is the, the street towards the Hutong area um, nearby so I just wanted to share that with you and just show you that there is no massive barriers being built or places being locked down or real, you know, <laughs> you know, authority figures kicking around hammering people. That's just not the case. It's not the case. What I see here and what I'm sharing with you is totally different. I was going to be able to buy some bingjiling, which is Mandarin for ice cream, but uh, KFC is not doing ice cream at the moment, so eh, not good for me. Anyway, this is Ian. Take care, look after each other, peace out. Catch you later.